Now it's important to know that the brake pad linings may contain asbestos. Use a mask while servicing the brakes. Don't blow the brake dust out with a compressor. Now here are some safety notes. If in any doubt, refer to your car's owner's manual and it will tell you how much and what types of fluids are needed. Now here are the tools we need. We need a jack and a jack stand, a lug wrench, needle nose pliers, screwdrivers, both flat and cross tip, torque wrench, and a socket wrench with sockets. Here's some of the specialty tools that you may want to get. Caliper spreaders, brake spring pliers, a brake adjusting tool, a brake bleeder hose, and an improved brake cleaner. If you're going to be doing your brakes on a regular basis, we recommend that you buy these tools. They will make everything a lot easier. First of all, be sure to set the emergency brake. You need to begin by removing the tire. If you have a hubcap, gently pry it off with a screwdriver. While the tire is on the ground, loosen the lug nuts with a lug wrench using a star-shaped pattern. Now when they're loose, go ahead and jack the car up and place it on a jack stand. Unscrew the lug nuts by hand now, using the same star-shaped pattern, and just pull the tire off. This is the brake caliper. To remove the caliper, we have two bolts, one at the bottom and one at the top. Use your socket wrench to loosen them and pull them out. If the bolts are different lengths on your automobile, make sure that you put them back in the same order. Rock the caliper off and lay it on top. Pull the outer pad out, then pull off the rotor. Here's an example of a brake rotor that's been seriously neglected. You can see here there's deep grooves in it caused by the rivets in the old brake pads. Here's an example of a new rotor. You can see the surface is nice and smooth. This is what your rotors should look like. If they have grooves or other signs of damage, get them turned by a machine shop or have them replaced.